Hi everyone, so here I have another practical component for you. It's a preset component <coughs> which uh, you can use to create presets and run them over time. Basically, in the end, you can build queue lists of this preset and just chain them together. So, how does it work? It's quite easy. You just select one operator with some parameters like this one activate the viewer and then you drop in the just just a parameter and then you get like a small overview of what will be there you can also use so let's change the center and what's happening here is for now they will be just loaded into the stack of our preset components so no values are selected at all so we can now change the center to something like this so we know the radius okay one two and yeah if this is done we select a new name so my preset one and then we hit store and you will see everything is uh, vanished because now we have a safe preset and it will appear here in this drop down menu so what you can do now again is you take the operators the uh, parameters and just drop them in <coughs> or you can uh, load the stack of a preset so like this and then we can just change the value so bigger this smaller this and move it a little bit up and a bit to the left and we call it my preset 2 and then we store this one also and what we can do now is just have a look over here in a little bit so now if we select preset one and then we call uh, the recall now we can give it a time so now it's like five seconds so we hit enter and we can see that it's running and let me just I, I will come to the monitoring uh, so let's clear the stack and now let's call my preset to recall you can see it's moving over what we can do also is we uh, again so we load our uh, component and we can change a value and then we just uh, update our component so yeah, uh, now if we uh, recall preset one, maybe let's do it down a little bit faster. And if we go back to preset two now, you can see we got the new values. If we want to delete a preset, quite simply, we just hit remove, and select this one, remove. Set. So what we <coughs> can also do is we can tag our circle with the tag preset. Quite simple. In this moment, if we activate the monitoring, which will cost uh, resources, so it shouldn't be done all the time, but it can be done. Uh, so the moment we change any parameter, it will automatically appear in uh, in our value. So here's the quarter width, and we call it my preset three. Store it. Then we, we maybe just want to to load it. Out. Let's see my preset three. 
so okay and now we want it to fade it into another color Maybe, uh, I think you get the point okay so we record preset 4 so now if we load preset 3 recall ah yeah of course of course we didn't change the color on the first one but so my preset 4 recall my preset 3 recall and yes that's basically it you can call all of these functions from outside so if you just hit the comment you can see a lot of the classes so you can add a parameter to the stock by hand you can remove all presets you can uh, clear the stack you can create uh, ignore the create and snap fade and create start snap this uh, doesn't matter for now it will come in handy in later versions uh, fade step also please ignore uh, low preset to stack, print stack, stuff like this. So, <coughs> for example, here we have like store preset, record preset, remove preset, uh, a parameter to stack, so you don't have to rely on the UI if you know for yourself what you want to do. So, download link yeah, on the website of Derivative in the description.